All right, this video is going to show you how and where, like the cross sections of a river, what happens and where the river's moving fastest and slowest and whatnot. So first thing it says, draw the cross section in purple. So the cross sections are gonna be from these A, Bs and Cs. So I'm gonna get my little drawing tool. I'm gonna use purple because that's what it told me to use. And from A to A prime, this is a straightaway. So the water is gonna be moving the fastest down the center. If it's moving the fastest down the center, that means that the deepest part of the water is going to be in the center of the stream. Okay, now from B to B prime, the fastest water is going to be moving on the outside of the curve. So that means if it's moving faster out there, it's probably gonna be deeper because faster water is gonna move those particles. So from B to B prime, the deeper part is gonna be way out on the side. So then from C to C prime, the faster water is closer to C. So that means more erosion is gonna be happening there. So for C, it's going to be deeper over here and much shallower over on this side. This one's a little bit more of a drastic picture. So, and now it says in red, label the outside or inside by the Bs and the Cs because there's no outside at A's because it's the straightaway, both, are both like outside is gonna be on both sides. Whereas the outside of the curve on B is going to be at B prime. So this is going to be the outside. And the B part over here, this is going to be the inside. Over here at C, at C, this part out here is going to be the outside. And at C prime, this part is going to be the inside. So now it says in blue, label erosion and deposition by B. So I'm gonna get my blue and at B prime, because it's the outside of the curve, water's moving the fastest. This is going to be where there's going to be lots of erosion. And on the inside, there's going to be lots of deposition. And then the opposite's gonna happen over here on the outside, because the opposite I'm saying like it's the opposite side. But over here on the outside, you're gonna still have lots of erosion. And then over here, you're gonna have, oops, that changed the wrong color. That's not the color you're supposed to be. This one is going to be deposition. Then it says to draw an arrow where the velocity is fastest through the A and B section. So I'm gonna take my drawing tool. I'm going to use the black. So the fastest water in this part is going to be down the center, but then it hits the outsides of the curve. So it's gonna go whoop over this way. It's gonna travel around the outside, cross across the middle over here, and my mouse hit my keyboard, so it's going to have to redo it. So it's gonna hit the outside of the curve over here and it's gonna curve around this way and then so on and so forth down through. So you can see the slower water is gonna be moving on the inside. So that means there's lots of deposition happening there. Faster water moves on the outside. So lots of erosion. So these curves can actually get bigger and bigger as time goes on and more water travels through and all that. Make sure you do this on your paper to prove that you did it and that you'll get a better understanding of how these rivers work because cross sections often show up on exams.